Good morning. If you were with us yesterday morning, you saw that Johanan delivered some people from an unscrupulous bad guy named Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah. But now Johanan takes the people and he hides over in uh, Chimham land. Why? So our readings at Jeremiah chapter 41 verses 13 to 16 today. Then Johanan, the son of Kareah, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, took from Mizpah all the rest of the people whom he had recovered from Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, after he had murdered Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the mighty men of war and the women and the, and the children and the eunuchs whom he had brought back from Gibeon. And they departed and dwelt in the habitation of Chimham, which is near Bethlehem, as they went on their way to Egypt." because of the Chaldeans, for they were afraid of them, because Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, had murdered Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, whom the king of Babylon had made governor in the land. So Johanan has defeated Ishmael, but he's afraid of Babylon. That's kind of weird. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon had appointed Gedaliah to be the governor. Johanan had tried to prevent this thing from happening, but Gedaliah wasn't up for that. So we saw what happened. He was murdered by Ishmael. So then Ishmael had made off with kind of all these important people that were left, killed some of the Babylonian guard that were there. Johanan got them back, but now he, he fears that uh, Babylon's going to be angry at, at him. You know, fear is a pretty harsh master. Some fear is, is quite realistic. Some fear is very unrealistic. Someone who believes in God can be fearless. He knows that God desires our good. And God's not trying to get rid of us. God is trying to build us. He's trying to strengthen us. He's trying to prepare us for the kingdom. He wants us there. And you might have noticed, it turns out that right now we're living in a time of heightened fear. Some people are overwrought with the fear of a certain virus, and some people are fearful of government force being used against them. There's a lot of fear to go around these days. So, you know, hard things can happen to us, but if we put our hand in the hand of God, the hand that was nailed to the cross, the hand of Jesus, God will help us through whatever we have to face, and we really don't need to face things with fear. We can face things trusting in the Lord God. He's on our side. It doesn't mean there won't be times of great intensity before us, but we don't need to face them afraid because Jesus died on the cross for us. We won't face ever anything quite as severe as that. I mean, not even not even remotely that severe. And if he can get through that and he wants to strengthen us, I think he can strengthen you and me as well. So let's trust in the King of Heaven and whatever we need to go through, he'll be with us all the way through. Let's pray to him. Your Father in Heaven, you mean good for us. We do not need to fear your use of force. In fact, you will not force our conscience you always are seeking to build us and work with us. How many times did people bow down to Jesus and Jesus came up to them and said, uh, stand up and don't be afraid. So Lord, help us to not be afraid. Help us to trust. Trust in the arms that were spread out on the cross for us. Yes, it sounds kind of saccharine and, and, and kind of squishy, but that's just because we've seen so much fake love and, and fake affection, but, but the affection of Jesus is true. It is authentic. And there's nothing saccharine about it. Thank you, Lord, for the love of Jesus and your love and the love of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for hearing our prayer today and helping us to go through whatever we have to go through, trusting in you. Thank you for hearing our prayer for this thing in Jesus' name. Amen. God is for his people, and we're better off by far trusting in him than trusting in human protectors. Although this group is trusting in Johanan because he just delivered them from this bad guy, Ishmael, you and I can trust in Jesus today. Have a wonderful day trusting in him.